Hey guys, this is Miss Amber, the math teacher. When the transversal cuts through parallel lines, a bunch of angle relationships are made to keep in mind. Corresponding, consecutive, linear pairs, vertical angles, and alternate. Angles in the same corner are corresponding. Vertical angles are across the vertex like opposites. A linear pair is a group of two that makes a line. Consecutive angles along the transversal are on the same side. Alternate angles are on each side of a transversal. What about interior and exterior? Aren't those important? Absolutely, they refer to parallel lines. Interior is in between, exterior is outside. So alternate exterior, opposite and outside. Alternate interior, opposite and inside. Consecutive exterior, same side and outside. Consecutive interior, same side and inside. Now only a few of these pairs are supplementary. Anything consecutive and linear pairs naturally. If you remember that, then know the rest are congruent corresponding alternate vertical. That'll do it. When the transversal cuts through parallel lines, a bunch of angle relationships are made to keep in mind. Corresponding, consecutive, linear pairs, vertical angles, and alternate. Angles in the same corner are corresponding. Vertical angles are across the vertex like opposites. A linear pair is a group of two that makes a line. Consecutive angles along the transversal are on the same side. Alternate angles are on each side of a transversal. What about interior and exterior? Aren't those important? Absolutely, they refer to parallel lines. Interior is in between, exterior is outside. So alternate exterior, opposite and outside. Alternate interior, opposite and inside. Consecutive exterior, same side and outside. Consecutive interior, same side and inside. Now only a few of these pairs are supplementary. Anything consecutive and linear pairs naturally. If you remember that, then know the rest are congruent corresponding alternate vertical. That'll do it.